Welcome to a new Team CGC 9.8 video. Today I have a short list of some 9.8 comics that you could buy now. So the first one, it's a Batman Adventures Holiday Special number one in a 9.8. I really like this one. It's got a great uh, Bruce Tim cover. And there's a, quite a big occult of following of uh, Bruce Tim fans out there. And this being one of his uh, earlier kind of Batman Adventures covers, I think uh, this one's just going to be pretty well collected over time. And uh, yeah, have a look on the census. There's 84 9.8s in a blue label. A 1 of 84 is pretty great. 37.5%, the 9.8 ratio. So a recent auction I saw on this one, uh, $223.50. I think that's a great value at that price. If you look on eBay, a couple had sold at uh, $280 and $275. So a little closer to uh, the lower end of that range I think is a really good deal on this one. Clearly pretty stiff prices like Bruce Tim fans like this one and are all already collecting it less than 100 in a 9.8. So I really I do like a Batman Adventures holiday special number one in a 9.8. Uh, next one's an X-Men number 134 in a 9.8 when Jean Grey becomes the Dark Phoenix. And Certainly, you know, this one was a little hotter when that movie came out and leading up to that movie, but that kind of bombed, to be honest, and that was a while ago. Um, and it just seems like a, a pretty great big key issue from the kind of Chris Claremont, John Byrne, uh, Terry Austin era of X-Men, a great era of X-Men. That's uh, kind of, uh, you know, just completely ice cold, I would say, this book. It's, it seems like a, a really good value. Looks pretty awesome on the census as well. I was surprised. Uh, 288 9.8s in the blue label, a 1 of 288, and 10.3%, the 9.8 ratio. So about 10% of them that are sent to CGC are 9.8, end up being a 9.8. So great on the senses, pretty huge key, decent price. Uh, I saw one sell for $749. And, you know, maybe this pops up on an auction and you get it maybe even a little under 700 I think that's just a great buy and... To be honest, you probably just want to get in there uh, right around 750 US dollars if uh, you like this one. I just think overall it's a good value. Uh, so moving on, uh, we'll talk about, uh, let's do, yeah, well, we'll go Wolverine number eight next. Uh, just a great one that uh, is maybe a little bit of like a poor man's Incredible Hulk 340 but still stands on its own as a great one because you almost can't go wrong with uh, Wolverine and Hulk on the cover. This is a John Buscema cover. And a, pretty cool about this one as well is uh, on the back cover. A great back cover pinup by um, Rob Liefeld. Probably one of uh, Rob Liefeld's better kind of earlier uh, Wolverine you know, artworks and just overall probably one of his better artworks, I think. So cool, he's kind of in the middle of all the ninjas. So that's a bonus. But uh, you almost just can't go wrong with Wolverine and Hulk on the cover. When I grabbed this one, it was like in 2018, quite a long time ago. It was like 150 US dollars. Didn't really expect much out of it from an investment kind of stand, you know, view. Because I had this one when I was a kid, and I, I just wanted it in the super high grade. But uh, over time, it's done really well. But a recent price at uh, $355 in an auction, you know, kind of pulling back, like everything's kind of cooling down. And uh, I think this is one you could probably get in there, 355 on a recent auction. Maybe it cools down a little closer to 300. I think right around 300. It's a great kind of Wolverine and Hulk collector item. And again, you almost can't go wrong with Wolverine and Hulk. 791, 9.8 in the uh, Universal Blue label, 32.2%, the 9.8 ratio. So uh, right around 350. Maybe you want to be picky and patient. Uh, wait for around 300. But uh, a Wolverine number eight is a really cool one. Okay, next one. Seeing a lot better prices on this one, and it's a, a pretty cool Star Wars key issue. It's a Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic, number 42. So uh, interesting, there's one in Canada right now. I was pretty tempted to pull the trigger, to be honest, but I think I'm going to lay off uh, for now. For, it's up for uh, 768 US dollars, which is right around $1,000 Canadian. That's actually the price in Canadian dollars. And uh, that's right around kind of you know, a good cooling down price from this one was certainly over a thousand at certain times in the last six to 12 months. Um, uh, these Star Wars books heated up quite a bit there. 
There's a 78 9.8 in it, in this one in the uh, universal grade blue, blue label, which is great. 26.9% the 9.8 ratio. And, uh, you know, origin of Revan on this one, but it pretty much to me it's a origin and first full appearance of Revan. You really just get kind of a glimpse of a, of a uh, cloaked, you can't see his face, Revan before this. So I think those kind of go down as cameos, personally. And there also is kind of a really cool cameo in, uh, what is it, Star Wars Tales 23. But to me, this is origin and first full appearance of Revan, Darth Revan. And, uh, yeah, so it's, uh, 768 if they're going to sell for... This one's been on eBay for about a week or two and hadn't sold at that price, so maybe you can get it even a little lower. You know, under 700 I think it's really starting to be a great value with less than 100 of them in a 9.8. And a, a big first appearance with potential. And, again, this one heated up so much, so uh, it's one to buy on the cool down, I think. All righty, last one. Guardians of the Galaxy, number one from uh, 2008. I really like this one, especially in a super high grade. I think it's a, it looks great on the census. And uh, it's the, pretty much the first uh, new team Guardians of the Galaxy titled comic book. You know, you could even say maybe first full appearance of the new team Guardians of the Galaxy. The uh, Annihilation Conquest 6 is a cool 9.8 as well. That predates this one. That's where they kind of fight. They defeat the ph Phalanx. I think it is, and uh, kind of at the end of that one, they're like, hey, that kind of worked out. We should start a team. And then the next comic book is this. So um, I really like these uh, kind of new team, Guardians of the Galaxy. First appearance comics, there's uh, 224 9.8s in the blue label, and 23.7% is the 9.8 ratio. Well, that's great for a modern comic book. Like of all the ones sent to CGC, only 23.7% of them are 9.8. And a recent price on this one, uh, $460 I saw one sell for. And I think, you know, we're in a pretty cooling down market. Maybe you get this one in an auction a little bit closer to $400. And then, you know, I would expect in the next few months that um, the uh, third Guardians of the Galaxy movie is going to come out. And this one might heat up a little bit more, you know. So actually there might be just a little bit of a lull opportunity if you wanted this one. There seems to be about maybe two or three up on eBay that, you know, seem reasonably priced or are like best offer kind of thing. Uh, so good 9.8, uh, new Team Guardians, love the movies. And uh, I think, um, you know, as kids grow up, they're just going to want that first time uh, the new Guardians in those movies got together in the comic books. And uh, I think it'll be a good one over time. So hopefully closer to 400, but one did sell for 460 US dollars recently. Okay, uh, that'll be it. Just a quick short list of, yeah, just some books I think make sense right now. And uh, there's quite a few key issues that are pulling back in price and cooling down. But uh, I think, uh, you know, you can think about buying these five here. All right, team. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. If you're liking my content, please subscribe and hit that bell. And I'll keep you updated on future videos.